Let's work out problem number 30. It says, by hand, find the solution set for the following system. So we have a system of equations, 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 27. Then here we have 3x squared plus 2y squared equals 23. So the goal is to find all of the values of x and all of the values of y. So you want to use what's called maybe uh, elimination. I think if we just subtract um, these equations, the x squareds will go away. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's subtract. Another option would be to multiply the first equation by negative 1 and add it to the second. But in this case, subtracting seems to work. So 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. 3y squared minus 2y squared is y squared. And 27 minus 23 is equal to 4. All right, so we have y squared equals 4. Now, to solve for y, we have to uh, get rid of the 2. So we'll take the square root here of both sides. So that will give us y equals. And whenever you take the square root of a variable squared, it's really important to put a plus or minus. So we get plus or minus 2. So these are the y coordinates of the answers. These are, this is not the answer. The answer here is an ordered pair. It's a point of intersection. We're trying to find out when the graphs of these two equations uh, intersect. That's what it means by a solution. So what we do now is we take each one individually. So let's take y equals 2 first. And then you pick the simplest looking one. In this case, they both look equally simple. So let's plug it into the first one. So 3x squared plus 3. And then y is 2. So 2 squared, it's a weird looking 3, um, equals 27. So this is 3x squared plus, let's see, 2 squared is 4, so we get 3 times 4, right, 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, and then here we have 27. So minus 12, minus 12, that gives us 3x squared equals 15. Almost there. Now we'll just uh, divide both sides by 3, so divide by 3, divide by 3. So we have x squared equals 5. Then when we take the square root of both sides, again, we get a plus or minus. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. So what does this mean? When y is equal to 2, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5. This gives us exactly two answers, with the x coordinate being plus or minus square root of 5 and the y coordinate being 2. So those are two of the answers. To find the other answers, we're going to do the same thing with y equals negative 2. Let's plug in y equals negative 2. Let me go ahead and rewrite the first equation. So 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 27. And again, we're putting a negative 2 here. So we have 3x squared plus 3 times negative 2 squared equals 27. So that's 3x squared. Negative 2 squared is also 4, right? So it's going to be 3 times 4 again. So it's 12, right? Because it's 3 times 4. And that's equal to 27. You'll notice that ex the exact same thing happens, right? We're in the, z the exact same thing is going to happen. So I'm just going to put 3 dots and say same thing, right? So plus or minus square root of 5, right? The same thing happened. So now we have two more answers. And those answers are the x coordinate, again, is plus or minus square root of 5 except this time the y-coordinate is negative 2. So, so these are the answers right here, these, these boxes in red. So it's really important um, to write things as ordered pairs, especially uh, in this problem. Right? So a quick recap. First thing you want to do is get rid of one of the variables. Um, we just subtracted, so that worked out pretty nicely. We found y. And then once you find y, you, you just do each one at a time. When y equals 2, pick the simplest one, plug it in, you get your x values, and then write the answer as an ordered pair. That's so important in this problem. Then you do it again with y equals negative 2. And you notice with, with negative 2, it works out the same because you end up with 3 times 4, which is 12. So you get the same thing, right? You have the same thing here. And again, write the answer as an ordered pair, x comma y. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.